so I got very heavily engaged in the health and wellness game sometime back, right? right. And so I went and became the CEO and the president of a juice company in Dallas. And that e and got me even more interested in health and wellness because think about it today. Food is almost like medicine to you. Mm -hmm. As I started growing older, I realized I don't need to pop a pill. I can take some turmeric and I, at least I can wake, make my joints work, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Right, right. So part of the whole process is if you, what you eat and what you put into your body is such an important piece of how you age. Right. Okay. Exactly. So, I, and again, I ran into another like, very interesting Hollywood celebrity journalist. Mm. And we started talking about anti-aging products. And that led, you know, so when I was doing the juice company, I literally talk about going from a corporate environment to running an entrepreneurial juice shop, okay, which was really health and wellness oriented juices, right? Right. So spinach, kale, you know, we launched a couple of different brands, uh, uh, categories called uh, exotics, which is mixing spices with juices and launching them into the market. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Now, this is a story with the two... Yeah, two young women. Yeah, okay. Wonderful cousins. They were cousins who started the juice business. And, you know, I ran into them. And uh, next, I joined up with them. And it was a very fascinating business because it's a highly competitive business. You need gobs and gobs of money to build a brand. Mm. And you have to find the right strategic partner. So when entrepreneurs come to me today, I tell them, hey, guys, find the right person, the right brand investor. Because if they don't understand the business and they invest in your business and they're looking for a pop right off the bat, it doesn't work.